again, I got to point out that I, I don't know how much I don't know how much Steve Pacon I can take. Um, there's quite a bit of it in this list here. Uh, the whole second half of 2014. <coughs> um, but if you watch, if you if you're not really familiar with Canadian conservatism. Um, it's, maybe that's kind of one of my sub-themes here, is how Canadian conservatives aren't so bad. I mean, relatively speaking, you know, if you live in Canada, they might seem pretty bad, but it's it's a, it's a relativistic thing, right? Um, I've said this many times, most people would argue that the Canadian Conservative Party is well to the left of the Democrats in the United States. Um, but... This is... If you want to see what a... He's a he, he's what you might call an Eastern Tory, right? <coughs> Sorry, an Eastern Conservative, and the Eastern Conservatives are I mean it's the same thing in the United States, right? You've got you have terms like New York Republican, right? But um, the the Ontario Tories are like <laughs> um, if you're a conservative on Ontario, chances are you're um, you're, you're, you'd be considered a borderline communist in the United States. It's the truth of it. But 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 if you're curious as to what that means, um, watch this guy um, because he's actually um, kind of a good example of um, of the Ontario conservative in the sense that um, he'll start off sound, like, like if you like you know the first line of questioning. You sound like Bill O'Reilly, right? And this is this is public television, right? This is TVO. Um, he'll start off, and you know, like any other, you know, conservative douchebag, right? Um, but he he doesn't push the points, and you can tell that like, he doesn't. It doesn't take a lot of convincing, right? Uh, before he's, you know, before he sees the, um, uh, before he realizes he's being unreasonable, and you almost have to think that. Um, his his O'Reilly shtick is is kind of a kind of more of a uh, more of a more of a facade. Uh, it's an act, right? Um, but that might be the case with a lot of um, public conservatives in Ontario. So, for example, this is uh, this is about payday loans, and uh, we have payday loan companies here too, um, unfortunately. Um, and he just starts off. He's like, well. You have a service, you have a product, you have a market. You know, this is capitalism. You got a product, you got a market. What's the problem? Right? <laughs> Sounding very much like a Bill O'Reilly, right? Um, you know, and and his guest it explains. Uh, well, you know, a lot of people don't like the idea of usury. They think that uh, you know this whole idea of a rentier class is. Uh, she, she, she tied it back to Aristotle. I, I think few people would do that. But, anyways, um, just this idea of, of not liking, you know, the idea of making money on top of money. Um, and that was enough, right? You didn't need to, you know, if it was Bill O'Reilly, we would have got some, would have got some stupid comeback, right? But um, that was enough to convince him. It's like, yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess 650 percent is, is, is maybe a little extreme. Huh? Maybe uh, maybe a few regulations so that wouldn't be uh, so crazy. Even though you have a you know you, you do have a you have a product and you have a market and maybe a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of regulation there's not so crazy, right? What do I think the solution is? Well. I mean, the payday low thing is a big thing, right? Um, a lot of people... It, it, um, it does make people angry, right? And it is because it's uh, it's so much, right? Um, it's one thing to say, um, you know, we'll let it to you at 110% or 150%, right? It's just the ridiculous levels of interest. Um, it... Uh, it, it pushes people's buttons wrong, a lot of them. Especially considering that um, most of the time... I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean you'll get the arguments, you know, it's... People need to... need to sell their shit to buy cocaine or something, right? But, um, and I'm sure that happens, right? But I mean, most of the time, um, what you're dealing with is more on the lines of uh, just 
wages that are too low to uh, to live on, right? <coughs> um, Ontario is actually not so bad with the minimum wage thing. Um, we have our minimum wage uh, indexed to inflation. Um, it's a little lower than what uh, people would call the living wage in some regions, whereas in other regions it's about right. Um, I think that um, as far as the minimum wage thing is, I actually really think that from a provincial level it's a probably roughly right. Um, if you live in Sudbury or Thunder Bay, or even in Windsor, um, the, the minimum wage is not low um, relative to the cost of living. If you live in Toronto, it's very high. If you live in, it's, it's, sorry, if you live in Toronto, it's very low. If you live on, in Ottawa, it's very low. So um, I, I would argue that the better approach is for those municipalities um, to put regulations in place. Um, but um, there's constitutional issues with that. Um, and that's certainly part of it, right? I think ultimately at the end of the day, um, what Steve here is saying is um, unassailable um, from, a lo lo from a logical point of view. Um, he's right. You have a product, you have a market. Um, so long as there's a market, so how do you deal with that is, sure, you try to deal a little bit with the wage issues, you try to eliminate the market. But I think another um, thing that you do is you try to um, control the product. Um, And the nature of these businesses is such that um, I would actually argue in favor of governments entering the market um, and setting their own regulations for them to do so. Um, I actually think that um, it would be a good source of revenue. Um, and then that money could be used um, uh, to fund various social initiatives, right? Now, if a government were to do this, um, it would be very heavily regulated, of course, and the interest rates would be um, a lot lower, right? So if they were to regulate the interest rates around 150% or something like that, um, then they would be able to provide the service um, in a way that most people would find less egregious. In fact, what they could even do um, is they could take that money that they got and funnel it um, into resources that would benefit the people that are taking the loans. You'll know that run into opposition with that, and you know a lot of the people you'd run into opposition with um, are going to have good arguments. But with something that they, this specifically like. If you put down a uh, if you put down a whole bunch of regulations, all you're doing is you're pushing it out into the black market, right? And that's exactly well, I mean that's what payday loans that used to be called loan sharking, and it ended up you know people would end up with broken legs as a consequence of it. Um, it's a very old thing, right? So long as people need the money. There's going to be, you know, this shit's going to happen. So what you do is um, something along the lines of harm reduction, right? You get the state to do it. So I may not, um, 
I, 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 I might not uh, agree that the solution is a market. You know, I often find that's the issue with um, classical liberals, and that's probably the better way to describe this guy. Um, old-timey liberals that believe in markets and low government interference. I often agree with their logic. It's just, therefore, Hayek, that's what I can't get my head around. Therefore, capitalism, I don't, you know. Sure. The start of his argument was great. It's the conclusion that's the problem. Rather than saying, okay, that means we should have a business model here, I would say, no, that means the state needs to step in and take control of it directly um, to prevent the abuses in the market. Um, because this, is, this isn't the kind of thing that you can regulate. You've got to control it directly. Um, unfortunately, I realize that the um, intellectual climate um, is very hostile to that at the moment. Um, but it may be less so here than it is down there. Huh? Something to think about. Anyways.